Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have a lovely little fold over box. It's very sweet. I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm just going to, oh, I can't get, I can't get the ribbon off. Oh no, it folds open like that. I'll show you when I'm making the other one. Very sweet to make, very delicate for this kind of, um, well, the hopes of spring that are possibly in the air, but I'm going to show you how to make it. Very easy. You need a piece of cardstock that is, that is, when I can speak, 11 inches by three and a half inches, which is 27 and a half centimeters by nine centimeters. Um, so you could get a few out of a sheet of cardstock and you score it at, I'll give you the imperial first, and don't worry, everything's all over on my blog. Click in the description bar uh, below and you'll find a, a, a link directly to this project. So one inch, five, six, and 10, which is two and a half, 12 and a half, 15 and 25 centimeters. Then you turn it round and score it at one inch and two and a half inches, which is two and a half and six and a half centimeters. And the finished dimensions of the box, um, when it's fully made is, whoops, one inch by one and a half by four inches, which is two and a half four centimetres by ten centimetres. So it's a cute size box. So do all your scoring and then fold over and burnish your score lines. And do that for all of them. And this one is, uh, is that, that soft scar? couldn't think then. Soft Sky and the designer series paper I've got is Best Day Ever which is the one that you get for free in the celebration catalogue which I handily have here. So this is our annual promotion where if you spend £45 um, or I want to say €50, Euros. is it €50, Euros? €60, Euros. £45, €60, Euros. not sure what it is overseas, overseas but for every £45 you spend you get to choose a something for free so there's all sorts of stamp sets there's beautiful papers um, there's blend abilities you can get so it's for every 45 pounds so if it's a 90 pound spend you get to choose two and I'm using the best day ever design series paper or best year ever sorry that's this one here and so this one I've got back here this pattern down here and then I'm going to use this one next time around uh, for this project which interestingly with all of our DSPs in the catalogue you will see the paper and then you'll see all of the colours that go with it and it's telling me in the catalogue that Calypso Coral um, is one of the colours that goes with it which is obviously far too much of an orange it hasn't made mention of um, Pink Pirouette or Blushing Bride at all but it's the one that goes with the paper <laughs> so I'm including it okay stop chatting start cutting right Cut up your score line, so you hold it this way around and you cut up all of these. Um, notch if you want to, which I'm not going to because, you know, I've, I've made lots of these boxes before. But it is an extra, an extra step I would suggest you take. I'll show you on this one. So when I say notch in, I mean notch into the square because the square is going to get hidden. So that's what I mean when I say notch in. But I'm just going to quickly cut round this time. And then we're going to close up the box. Actually, I'm going to put the DSP on first. So this little panel measures one and a quarter by three and three quarters, which is three and a half by nine and a half centimetres. So I'm going to grab my snail. And whichever bit you put this onto, that's going to be the top. So... There we go, so now I know that that's my top. So I've got my fast fuse here. And definitely the trick to fast fuse is to not press hard when you're when you're putting your adhesive down. Although mine seems to have got a catch on the top now. I do love this stuff. I think it's a bit like my sticky strip. It's a bit camera shy. Um, but I've mastered the art of using it definitely slow and gentle is the way to go okay so this is the top we're going to seal up the top first and then these parts are going to stick down into them into the bottom 
when I'm going to be able to demonstrate a really good reason as to why you notch out. Because on this side, which side? This side that I notched, perfectly smooth and flush, here we've got a little bit of wibblage and definitely down on this part here. So that's why you notch. Okay, so this is how my box opens and closes. Very sweet. There we go. I'm going to show you how to tie the ribbon because I've got a flat bottom on that, but I want to do my little bit of punching and what have you. So I have got some silver glimmer paper, wisp white, and I've got three punches. There's no stamping today. Bitty butterfly, one and a quarter scallop, and a one inch circle. So I'm going to do my scallop first. And then I'm going to have one each of these as well in the whisper white. And I've got my match. <gasps> I'm just throwing my coffee across the table. Oops. It's a good job it's got a lid on it. Okay. So I've got my sponge and my pink pirouette ink. And I'm just going to come all the way around the sides. tint up the edges and I've got some crystals that have got coffee on them that I've just chucked across it. <laughs> My rhinestones. So I'm going to pick up three. <laughs> the, fortunately the coffee is only on my desk. It hasn't gone anywhere else and it's actually only gone in a tiny patch. Can't pick that up now. There we go. <sighs> I would carry on filming when I've got about five minutes <laughs> before my husband comes through the door. And I want to get the videos done. It's the whole SD card issue from earlier in the week, from a couple of days ago, has meant that I'm so behind. So I'm racing to play catch up. Okay, so dimensional on the back of there. And onto there. And one onto the back of the butterfly. And we'll just pop her off to a jaunty angle because she's pink. And then how to tie this ribbon. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, hopefully, my hands won't get too much in the way. But I saw it on Pinterest and it was very complicated, but it, it kind of made sense. So you start with your ribbon underneath and you hang on to one part here, so you've crossed it over, so you're just keeping that on the top, this one fold away and wrap that round and then you tie just as you would. I'm probably going to, I think I might cut this off just because I'm going to tangle myself otherwise. And you tuck that under both parts. I think it's I think the Pinterest thingy that I saw and the YouTube or something like that that you would see is how to tie a Tiffany bow. <laughs> it's my phone. Oh, it's all conspiring against me today. And Oh, this is pink pirouette, pirouette ribbon as well obviously to match because we like it all matching. And that's so that's now got me a completely flat bottom for my ribbon, which is which is good because often you know it can wibble if you've got something small. A um, couple of mini glue dots down here because I want to stick this to the ribbon. And that is my pretty soft pastel fold over box. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you soon. Bye.